Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my review for this pet heating pad. I picked this little thing up because I have a very small dog um, and she gets matted really easy so we have to keep her shaved pretty short and the poor thing is always freezing. She's always running and, and trying to lay in the sun and everything so I decided to pick this up especially for the night times. A um, couple things that I really like about it. I love that this case is removable so you can actually take this thing off and wash it because uh, the pillows get gross. I also like that this the heating element itself is waterproof, uh, which means it's not going to get damaged should accidents happen. Um, the cord protector, oops, or the cord here is also, they call it chew proof. It's pretty darn, I mean, I don't know if proof, but it's definitely chew resistant. This thing is really strong. I don't think, I think it's going to take a lot for um, a dog to bite through that. Here's your remote control. It's really simple operation. This isn't going to be a super long review. Push this power button uh, to turn it on, and then you can adjust it. Unfortunately, there, let's see if I can get it so you can see. So that's 25 by 1, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. My one complaint with this is that that remote is in Celsius, and we are not a Celsius people, but it doesn't really matter. Um, because I've had this thing heated up for a while, and it um, it doesn't really get that hot. Uh, and part of that's because obviously you get it too hot, you burn your dog. So, um, but it's it's warm. It, it's not a heat. It's not hot. It's warm. Um, just to kind of show you, we're at 93 degrees, and when we get off, oops, that's on. So when you get off, you're down into the 80s. It's probably actually closer to 70 because um, I have the heating pad over there. Let's test over here. Yeah, over here it's 75. So um, the heating pad was sitting here. That's why it was a little hotter. But so you see this on the highest setting, it, it gets to about the, high, the highest I saw it was about 95, um, which is plenty safe for your pets. I actually, just to check, I, I looked at the sun. I tested this the, using this little guy. Tested with the sunspot that my dog was sitting in earlier, and it was like 103. So 95 is a perfectly safe temperature for your pet. And obviously, they're going to get up if they're uncomfortable. It does have the multiple adjustments, um, so you can you can cool it down too if you want. Uh, the let's see what else. It is it's quite small, so this is not for giant dogs. If you want a giant, you know. If you, if you have a giant dog, you may need to look for a bigger pad. But this will definitely heat up any of this, the smaller dogs. Um, I also really like, I saw somebody complained about this feature, but I'm really happy that it doesn't have an auto-off feature. You have to actually come and turn it off. That's not a big deal. Um, the reason I like that it has that is because I don't want this thing turning off in the middle of the night or the middle of the day. It's such, it's not a high, high temperature, so running it all day isn't, you're not at a risk of burning your house down or anything. It's not a safety feature to have it turn off. Um, and I would rather be able to have my dog be comfortable. That was the whole purpose of buying this. So I'm glad that it doesn't have the auto off feature. Um, I can click a button when I want to. <laughs> um, all in all, this is a really great little pad. I, my dog loves it. I'm happy with it. The quality seems nice. It's not, uh, it's not, and I don't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. If it does, you'll see an update up top. The buttons feel maybe a little bit loose, but not like anything that I'm super concerned about. And the function's easy, you just turn it on. Um, so anyway, I don't have any complaints about this little thing, so I give it five stars. I do update my reviews pretty regularly, so if you have, if I have any problems with it, uh, you'll see an update at the top. But as long as you don't see that update, you can assume that I still think this little baby's five star worthy.